All right, welcome. Uh, today we're going to be doing a demonstration of an ultrasound guided sciatic nerve block in the dog. Uh, this procedure is used to provide uh, local anesthesia, regional anesthesia, and postoperative analgesia for procedures typically distal to the stifle on the dog. Um, the anatomy that we're looking at today, we've already pre clipped this animal for, uh, for the sake of um, showing you the anatomy. Um, typically, the animal would be clipped for its surgery relevant to the procedure that's going to be uh, performed on the animal. Um, but what we've pre-clipped for the demonstration today is just an area distal to two um, bony landmarks. Um, typically, we palpate the greater trochanter of the femur and the ischiatic tuberosity on the pelvis and anything distal to that area. We also find this muscle on the lateral side of the thigh, which is called the biceps femoris muscle. And this is the main landmark that we're gonna palpate and try and appreciate uh, as we place the ultrasound transducer. Um, so what we've clipped today is just an area over the target. So we have the biceps femoris muscle in the center. And in this particular regional anesthetic approach, the needle that we're going to be using to deliver the local anesthetic is going to be um, entering from the caudal direction. So we've clipped the animal around the back of the thigh um, to allow that uh, entry for the needle. We've already done a sterile prep. Um, so we've used three different scrubs of chlorhexidine and a final prep of alcohol at this point.